A splinter is a fragment of any foreign object that penetrates and becomes lodged inside one's body. Many people try and remove splinters with needles. The problem with this approach is that children especially don't like it because picking at a splinter with a pointy object can sometimes hurt until part of the splinter is exposed and the rest pulled out with a pair of tweezers. The second problem with the needle approach is that it doesn't always work if the splinter is very deep or quite thin and hard to see. Most people don't want the hassle or expense of going to a doctor. What most people don't realize is removing even a deep splinter is easy with magnesium sulfate, better known as Epsom salts. Many people are familiar with an Epsom salt bath for sore muscles or to improve sleep. Epsom salts are a hugely beneficial way to draw toxins, even a splinter, right out of the skin. You can either soak your fingers a few times a day in a cup of warm water and Epsom salts, or make a poultice with it. The poultice is much faster and more effective. To use the poultice root, take a small pinch of Epsom salts, place it on the bandage section of a regular large band-aid, and wrap the finger with it. Change the bandage once a day or if it gets wet in the shower. Another option is to put a bit of magnesium sulfate paste, which costs just a few dollars on Amazon, on the affected area and cover with the bandage. Magnesium sulfate is the same thing as Epsom salt. Within two days, you should find the Epsom salt poultice has worked. The end of that thorn will be sticking through the skin. You can then pull it out with tweezers. The swelling and soreness in the finger will go with the removal of the thorn. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to remove a splinter with baking soda. Thanks for watching and bye for now.